Hi guys and welcome to this weekend's first formation rotation and as you can see in the left hand side it's going to be 4-5-1. Bit of a sceptical formation I was going to choose but I thought why? Why not try it? So it is going to be tried and tested. Uh, four games in Division 1 because uh, we are back in that motherfucking kettle of fish now. Hanging with the best, chin wagging with, with the sweaty cunts really. It's uh it's like there's just a smell of testosterone in that division. So, first things first, guys, check out FIFACoinTraders.com. Their link is in the description. And then uh, let's go and build that team up. So, obviously, we are missing someone from the bench. Let's go and put him in. Hello, Messi. So, he cannot be missing from that subs bench. So, one of the players, guys, is not going to be in formation. That will affect the overall chemistry of the team. But if he is in the right position and formation, he will uh, be on at 99 chem. Uh, uh, the team will be on 99 chem, sorry. So let's get on, build the team, and then uh, crack on and show you the highlights of the games. So we're going to go with uh, Brazil link up first down like the bottom right. So we're going to go with the goalkeeper, and um, let's set the uh, formations up as well. 2 4 5 1. And there we go. So the keeper we've gone with in net is Morris. Uh, he plays for Benfica. Uh, really decent, overpowered goalkeeper. He can be classed as that. A few negative reviews of him, but to be honest, I find him all right. Not the best, not the worst. The first one, uh, first centre back, is going to be an out of position uh, defender. There's no point in doing that. So I may as well go back, set it up to Brazil, and then go and pick him. It's none other than Naldo. Uh, I do have him in a Bundesliga sweat team, and that is why he's out of formation. But the games, when we did play with him, he was in full chem. So the centre back is going to be Silva. And let's set the parameters up because everyone else is in the right formation. Just the rest. And it's going to be Fagner. Now, he gets a proper, I think this is a class of a super link uh, because he's got his formation, league, and nationality. No, sorry, not formation, league, and nationality. Team, league, and nationality. Uh, so that's basically the Brazil link up in the team. Moving on to the left hand side of the defence, and it's not going to be a silver. Wow, I am messing up today with the parameters. And it's going to be Mangala. Now, this guy is a hybrid maker. I have discussed it before. He is a perfect hybrid player. One, because he's French, and I will be able to get a French link with the left back, who is a silver, and it is none other than Dabo. Dabo, sorry, Dabo, not Dabo. I don't mind, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Uh, so, that is the defence there, a nice Brazil and French. Sweaty defence really, Mangala and Naldo there, Fagner and Dabo as well. So now we go with the first in form in the team. I'm just gonna knock that off actually, book of that. And it's gonna be the first in form and it is Payet. Payet. Uh, now he is quite an underrated in form. 31k paid though. This is because of his four star skills, four star weak foot, uh, and he's in the French league, but his stats are really good. He played really well. He played uh, four games for me and two goals scored, which uh very surprising considering he's a left mid. I don't really score with the midfielders. Uh, well, the wingers anyway. Uh, moving on to the right hand side, and it is Suarez. Now this guy is um I was going to say Colombian, but he's not. He's from Ecuador. Uh, he is a real beast of a player. I think he has four. No, he's got three star, three star. But yet again, he's got four games of us and one goal scored. Uh, very useful formation is this one for cutting inside. Uh, very surprised that we did get on with that. The centre mid, and we did use this guy for uh, the defensive mid purposes but he did help in attack as well and that is João Moutinho another hybrid player so now as you can tell we're going to finish off with the Colombians now and this is uh, going to be the spearhead of the attack so the first one on the left hand side is going to be inform Rodriguez he is one of the best informed players on the game uh, take my word for it try him out if you've got the coins I don't know how much we paid for him 61k but honestly guys definitely worth the punt S second cam to go with him is Quantero another player which is definitely worth the purchase uh, real good 5 star skiller so he's the first 5 star skiller in the team I don't think so. no so he's the only 5 star skiller in the team the striker to head it up and also abuse why is he not on full cam he must be on the bench where you at sunshine hey Falcao look at that look at me hiding so now I'm going to have to Bang him over there. And then that is how the team stands. It does say 96, but as I said with Naldo, if you do knock that up to uh, the right formation, he will. the team will get 9 chem. Full 9. So, 
that's me, team built, real good team, real strong. Now I'm going to talk about how I see the formation. Very solid in midfield, very overpowering for the uh, opposition if you're on the attack. As, but if you overextend the left mids uh, and the cams at the same time, you are left with a very uh, open wing to attack, especially with Dabo and Fagner. Both of them are quite attacking uh, left backs and right backs uh, respectively. But if you can finish that sh them shots off and get the goals like we did with this formation it is an absolute animal and it is one of the top ones i've played with so far this series so guys i'm now going to show you the highlights of the games that they play in the four games uh, also in the description guys let me know if you do play with 451 uh, what you enjoy from it what you don't enjoy from it if you don't play with it and why you don't play with it and also what players you are using so i'll be back in a second guys so after looking at all the highlights guys I've noticed that with the two cams and the one striker it helps for overlapping basically the two cams as long as they've got good shooting and speed they will help you immensely especially with Quantero man he is absolutely unreal uh, here is a perfect example, uh, example for Triangle and Quantero look at that pace absolutely ripping up Hummels even though he's not the fastest on the game but definitely not the slowest and with his five star skills very beneficial to the team so as I did say in the opening part of this video I did say that 4-5-1 was awesome, especially with um, the 5 in midfield overloading and the benefits of uh, defending and attacking. So even though this was his own fault, this goal in the background, it basically a stupid custom set piece. We thought we would take advantage, not with a double tramp, not with a triple tramp, but with a 4 quadruple tramp. So that is fucking, we're going to call that the McLovin because even though he's probably fuming, it's a bit of fun and it rubs it in a bit more. So anyway, one twos do work a hell of a lot, especially. And we do get very lucky with the bundles and stuff bouncing directly to a player who you don't want to be scoring. And it is Rodriguez with a tidy little finish. So also, guys, we are coming up to basically the end. We've only got a few formations left to be doing. Uh, now I was looking through my trusty little notepad. And uh, when we come to an end, what the hell are we going to do there? What would you like to see at the end of it? Like a rundown of my top five formations. Um, just hit me up in the comment section below or maybe we can just run in and put another series in there. So the final episode, which will be in a few weeks time anyway, will consist of 352 and 433 because I know a lot of you are waiting for that to come. But because they are the two decent formations on Ultimate Team. We will be waiting to the final week to give them a rundown. Basically a head-to-head. -head. Um, yeah, so this formation, guys, would definitely recommend using it. Uh, as I did say before, let me know what you think. Have Falcao as a target man as well. His header is unreal. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Check out all the previous formation rotations. And... Uh, yeah, comment in the section below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to me. And remember to check out FIFACoinTraders.com. Uh, their link is in the description. So, um, if you build with the team, also tweet me and let me know. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you all later.